Well, the scene is dramatic. Train cars derailed, crashing dangerously close to homes in Ferguson just off Elizabeth Avenue. This all happened last night, but crews are still cleaning up the mess. Our Jasmine Payu spoke with people whose homes were too close to this crash. Neighbors said they're just thankful to be alive after this train derailment. You can see it right behind me. Cars spilling out onto people's yards. This unbelievable scene, they say. They just can't believe it. The guy was truly watching out for us. It's a lot of houses this this way. Saturday morning when people in Ferguson came out of their homes, it was not to enjoy the weather. It was to get a look at this. Came outside and found out that it was a train laying in the back of the house. A train derailment spilling about 11 train cars onto their backyards. I don't want to be that close to it. <laughs> I really don't want it that close to the yard. The scary scene played out on South Elizabeth and Ferguson around 9 o'clock Friday night. Norfolk Southern owns the train that was traveling west when it left the tracks. It felt like a, a windstorm just came through the house because it was really loud, a loud wind. And then um, I was getting ready to open the door because my grandson was scared. He thought it was a, a spaceship. Um, all of a sudden, the lights flashed off. All our lights went off. Everything went up black. And then the whole street just lit up green, like a like the lights. I don't know in the sky, just like the sky just lit up green, and then it flashed out, and then it lit up red. No one was hurt, but backyards like Lamika Covington's were damaged. It's really scary, and at this point, I'm nervous. From from this day on, it's gonna be like you know. Should I let the kids go in the backyard? Should the trampoline even be back there? There's no word on what caused the derailment, but Covington says it's a question she needs answered. At this point, I'm just concerned about how fast the trains are moving, and I would like to know why this happened. Why are we even experiencing this right now? Many of the people who live here have been without power for hours. Amron telling them it won't be on anytime soon. They're asking for about seven generators if anyone can help. Reporting in Ferguson, Jasmine Payute, 5 on your side.